Sound the alarm, people, as Reggie Drago, the deck that needed to be meta, wanted to be meta, would kill to be meta, finally is legitimately meta as it came top 16 in NAIC, the biggest tournament ever. So, let's see what it plays. This deck is going to be full bling, by the way, and I'm not going to apologize for it because then I'd have to pretend to be sorry. But nonetheless, Reggie Drago with the Apex Dragon, it's pretty much the typical Okapon deck you would think, but it doesn't play things like Radiant Charizard, instead opting for a higher energy count. Now, it does still play the two Dragapult EX, which is kind of like the main premise of the deck, and it does have Gudra, Noivern EX, Raging Bolts, and of course, the Teal Mask Okapon for draw. We all know how this is. You accelerate to the Okapon, use Energy Switch to get your energy onto the Reggie Drago, and then go from there. This is literally my favorite deck right now and I'm not even joking man it's so good I think I even feel a rap coming on Reggie Drago Ogo Pond a legendary box deck causing such a scene these actors leaving whilst they're on set haters don't believe in this success but it ain't done yet cause Dragapult will catapult them now they're feeling upset Hey, hey, upset causing so much stress bout a dominating echo now the sin all feeling blessed don't forget I can roll in iron too nevertheless you'd never guess what is my next move to show you who's the best oh yes yeah yeah whoa 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 okay slow down I don't know what happened there. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and what's not. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. So this deck was piloted by Jacob I, who actually, fun fact, got their world's invitation from their placement with Reggie Drago. And it's insane how high it plays. 14th is what he got in a 2000, I say 2,500 plus in the, in the title because it's better for, you know, numbers and stuff. But 2,600 odd players in the tournament. Top 16 is a seriously, seriously good placement. So yeah, absolute huge congrats to him for doing it with this deck. And that's so cool to see finally Reggie Drago really like proving itself for once. You know, it's all speculation until it performs. Well, it has. And that is wonderful. And it's crazy, right? That said, this deck is not near the end of its life cycle, but it's been out for, for is it a year or so now, maybe? Um, it's really interesting to see decks get so much better over time. Like, Reggie Drago, though, was like, I remember when Reggie Drago was first revealed, right? Leaked. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's Mewtwo and Mew, uh, uh, G GX tag team, yeah? People are going crazy saying, oh my god, it's all that again. Oh no, it's gonna be best deck in format. It's gonna ruin everything. And then it flopped really bad. It was Rayquaza 2.0. Although, I don't know if Rayquaza came out before or after. No, Rayquaza came out. I don't know. I can't do maths. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's Vessel here. And I think I'm actually going to fail the Vessel because I want I want as much energy as possible. Yeah, because I want to attach and then research, hopefully get Teal Mask. Oh, actually, no, maybe it, was, maybe it was better to not do that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Right, let's uh, go for a Teal Mask down. I'm going to get another Teal Mask, I think. And I also like the idea of Mew. That feels good. I should be fine here. I should be able to... Yeah, maybe I should have got energy, actually, because then I could have Legacy Starred Grass Energy back with the Teal and the Switch off of this... Legacy star. Well, we'll get it anyway. Trust me. Watch. We'll be easy. Look at this. See? I told you we'd get it. Except we have to attack with Raging Bolt. <laughs> ah, ah. No, that's a lie. I can rolling iron this time. That's fine. So I recover a vessel and I think an E-switch, right? Yeah. That's the best I can do right now, I think. Yeah. I want to make the most use out of my E-switches. So this is fine. There's vessel here. And we'll get two. Wait. What? Oh, there's two fires in this cup. I didn't even notice that. It's fine. It's fine. We have superior. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're fine. I don't feel terrible about it. Not in the slightest. Let's go for another teal mask here. Or teal dance. Sorry. And it's a nest ball. I might burn these nest balls just to get a little new draw, you know. Let's also energy switch here. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. I'm going to fail it. Get ready, Drago. V down, which I still can use. And I go for me for an extra extra push in the draw, which I think is what we need. Oh, wow. It's a boss. That's wonderful. All right, let's Apex Dragon here. And we will copy the rolling iron attack. If I get more energy into play, which I can, I could Oko a Blissey before it even gets to Monkey Dory me here. Yeah, that is mental. That is mental. But I think I need some more recovery before I get comfortable with that. We'll, we'll see. But we're already kind of popping off, which is lovely. There's a Chansey and a Nest Ball coming down. And they grab another Chansey. All four in play. So they ain't doing no prize guard shenanigans. That's good. They double turbo the Chansey. And with three cards in hand, have you really got it? I have a feeling they're retreating into a monkey here. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what? 
I, uh, bruh. I got so confused, I burped. Why did you just got both energy? You just need to get rid of turbo. What are you doing? Um, okay. Yeah, new player alert, I think. Um, let's... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, broski. Listen, mate, you do you, innit? Uh, do your thing. Even if it's the wrong decision, do it. Go for it, man. Uh, have fun with it. Right, let's go for a teal dance there. And we get Dragapult. Yes. All right, Earthen Vessel. And there's literally no energy left to grab. I am gonna boss and just get myself another Chansey up. Let's restart as well. Look at his deck go, man. That's exactly what I needed. There you go. Superior. I don't care if it's one energy less. Just give me that bloody fire. Thank you. Then we again Apex Dragon. And we have Phantom Dive now. Is that... Should we be Phantom? No, I'm in a rolling iron. I don't think we Phantom Dive in this matchup. Because Monkey Dory with two energy just removes it. So we don't want a Phantom Dive. We instead just want to tank and take one at KOs. I love this deck. It's so good at the options, man. And they scoop. There you go. Lovely stuff. Great game one. Let's go into the next one. It's another Dragapult deck. People seem to have Dragapult fever today. And that's fine. I'm liking the hands. It definitely is clever friendly. And they just pass? Oh my god. Typical Drag Dragapult, eh? Just, just, you know, pass. Simple stuff. Um, I think I... Hmm. I'm going to teal and then actually my Ultra Ball then Iono, actually. I was thinking of just playing the hand down, but I want to find an energy attachment. I'm going to get rid of a switch. That won't punish me in the future. I am sure of that. Let's get ourselves a Mew down just for the plus one. Maybe should have got another Energy Drago. I didn't think about that. <laughs> it's all right. Never punished. You see, go for an S. <laughs> Bro, I'm such a fraud. <laughs> right. Okay. Ready, Drago. And then we go for an Iono because we want to thin their hand out a little bit. That said, maybe I shouldn't have done that because they clearly had a bad hand. Now, I'll guarantee I've giving them a good one, but uh, hey, it's it's a part and parcel, isn't it? Um, all right, let's teal dance. Hopefully get another energy. Come on. Oh, yes. It's a vessel. That means I can get rid of my own Dragapult here and get two. Sure. I was debating that because of the Clefer. Actually, yeah, I think that was a misplay because uh, I need to see more cards here, I think, but that nah, should be fine. Grasping Jaw will sort me out. Perfectly fine. See? We just attach next turn. We go for a research and we're fine. There's a Dreepy and a Zartu out. Okay, yep. Yeah, see, the good hand is here now. Nest Ball into another Dreepy and they, oh, you know, oh, I was kind of liking my hand, you know. Ah, it's all right. We got Dragapult chilling, you know what I mean? There's a Noivern, useless in this game, but great against the Raging Bolt. Oh my god. You just like have one Reggie Jargo EX and then Noivern and you win. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so cool. Uh, all right, there's Pidgey and a Dreepy down. It seems like we've got a full game going through here, which is lovely. You love to see it. And we are off to the races, man. Right, let's go for a Teal Mask here. I might have to attach instead of anything else. Oh, I don't like the hand. I don't like discarding these two, but that's that's why we have Superior. So let's let's start off, man. Let's go in here. And we should get Reggie at this point. Ooh, it's awkward still. But we just about got there. Because of our aggression, I'm going to take away Iono here. Get Reggie Drago. And as it stands, there's really no need for me to Legacy Star, right? Right? They're not going to KO me this turn. So I shouldn't do it. Wait, did I switch to this? No, I didn't. I, I, I'm fine. Yeah, let's just Apex Dragon. Oh my god, I can take out Pidgey. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> bro, this is what's so good. I'm doing Dragapult better than Dragapult. That's the craziest thing about this deck. And now I can also ping this Dreepy. So they don't evolve, then they're screwed. I was tempted to ping another Dreepy because they're likely wanting to evolve one with the energy. And by pinging the other Dreepy, you force them to evolve into the one they don't want to get KO'd and also don't want to attack with to then make it more difficult. But then at the same time, if they whiff it anyway, then it's much better to, to KO the one with the energy on it, right? So it's kind of a decision at that point that I don't think one's right or wrong, really, in the long run. But uh, can I get myself... I can, actually. I can get myself the Raging Bolt this turn. We can absolutely cook here. And I get an Ultra Ball and a Defiance Band. That won't KO me, but it will KO a Teal Mask. So that would be a good response. They get themselves a Dragapult. There you go. They didn't get rare candy off the oven, so I'm assuming it's in hand. Yeah. Do they have the energy, though? Do they have to go for a Jet Headbutt? There's the Band. To be fair, Jet Headbutt for 100 isn't terrible. It does put me in range. But now, now there's the great risk of me just Okoing you and you Lose it. Yep, they scooped. <laughs> Uh, bro, Dragapult's got nothing, absolutely nothing on Reggie Drago, man. Now, it's with a hand like this. <laughs> of course, they start the, uh, the Charizard, and I feel bad for them. I was going to say, it's a hand like this where you typically want Squawk, uh, but that Iono has just fixed that for us completely, so that's fine. Um, we'll get ourselves some energy here, and I will attach, and I kind of want that Ultra Ball not for a Teal Mask, but instead for a Reggie. But that said, with the energy, uh, it might be nice to get a Teal Mask energy switch off. So we'll see. It depends on our top deck, and also what we're playing against. I have no that we're playing against just yet. There's an Arvin. It's the darkness leaves that are throwing me off, but I'm guessing it's Charizard then? There's a Poffin and an Evo. I think it is Radiant Charizard. Not Radiant, sorry. Charizard EX. Which is kind of fresh, weirdly enough. It's kind of weird to see a Charizard deck because they're just nowhere near as popular now. It's at this level that I'm comfortable with seeing Zard, you know? Not like every game where it was before uh, Scarlet and Violet um, Twilight Masquerade set came out, you know? This one's a little different, but we could get a KO on that Pidgey literally next turn if things go our way. That would be so good. 
Pidgeotto is going. So this is a, a, a more, you know, just normal build rather than anything from any regional. That said, there are a couple of times, you know, where I do want a Pidgeotto myself when I am playing Pidgeot decks. So I'm like, if only I, if I like, you know, when you have like uh, a Pidgey down and you have the Pidgeot in hand and you just are not finding rare candy. It's like, but I have Ultra Balls. Let me just, let me just, let me just get a Pidgeotto. I, we've all been there, man. Right. The Penny can go, Blubs. That's fine. So I am going to go for the Teal Mask here instead of the Reggie, which is a risky move, especially now that I have two in the deck. We'll be fine. Don't worry. It's okay. We don't get double energy switch. That's kind of cool, except I can't use that one. Come on. This, this will sort us out. I, I, I know we'll sort us out completely. We'll be fine. And we're not. Of course, it's kind of typical, really, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's get ourselves another Teal then, because I do have the energy switch, so I might as well just go for that. Let's go for, uh, I'm going to go for these two. So I'm going to attach the fire and then Teal Mask, Energy Switch, Bench Reggie, Bench Mew, and we get a draw free. So it's not over. Oh, wow. Okay, that's great. So let's go for this. Bench Reggie, Bench Mew. It means I have to discard what I draw here, but I don't care. Kind of care, but I don't. Let's Ultra Ball. And we need to pray that we actually get a Pokemon to attack. Well, we have Noivern. Okay, I, I can't have a Noivern, but you know we all want Dragapult. So let's see. Legacy Star. Give me the Dragapult. Come on. Sort me out, mate. And yes, there we go. We did get a Reggie. We need to recover that. And I kind of vibe with the Energy Switch. I'm kind of vibing with that, except I think I might prefer Boss. No, the Energy Switch makes the most sense considering we've already lost so much. I think I have to prioritize consistency here. It has to happen, blood. Okay, let's go for the Apex. We're going to KO that Pidgey with the Charizard EX, and we're talking one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if they don't evolve that Charmander and they throw something else in the active, we can take this bad boy out too. Oh my god, Charizard fell off, bro. And he <laughs> research. <laughs> oh my god, Reggie is so cool, man. There's an Arvin coming out. Will they be able to pull off the, uh, the Zard? What's funny, if it's just Zard, we can win by Okoing it. We just need the... Wait, was that a water bottle? The fresh water set? What the hell? Bro, put... He got the water set? <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, sure. I guess that's that. I'm assuring. I'm assuming that's how they're countering Dragapult, right? They're like, just throw in a fresh water set, bro. No problem. You're fine. You'll be okay. It just hydrate you on a hot day, you know? That is insane. That is so cool. Uh, I think we want to Oko this up, but with the Poffin now, maybe we try something different because it is very costly to take an Oko with the Raging Bolt, assuming we even have it in the discard pile. Still might be worth to Phantom Dive, you know, just to poke. It really depends, but we'll see. We'll see what we get, but I think an Oko would be so devastating, you know? Let's see. 240 on the active, and we will evolve and just research, man. Just gonna research me in. Oh, the Prime. Does that even do anything for me? Or am I just am I just lying to myself? Right, let's Teal Dance. Does Prime do anything for me here? I don't know. We got the E-Switch. Let's throw that there. It kind of doesn't, right? It means I could take a KO on something, but I'd rather hit the Charizard and just soften that up and soften some other Pokemon up, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just go for a Phantom Dive, and then I can do one, two, three, and sure thing, whatever. Like, it doesn't really matter at that point, right? So I can take three prizes next turn, you know? Right, well, they are Yono me. Let's see what we get. That's perfectly fine. Um, I will be able to get the swing next turn, but now the extra Charizard is concerning me. I need, uh, I need, uh, I need to get myself, uh, the rolling iron, man. I need to get myself the, uh, the cheeky Gudra. Or to be fair, I could take the free price turn and then just charge up a teal, right? Yeah, that's fine. I guess, I guess, no, I guess I don't do that then. Because the teal mask still hits for weakness, so yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we have a game plan. There's Super Rod. And they go for it there with the Pidgey and the Radzard. Radzard would be a pain. Or maybe that, yeah, that's obviously what they want to get out next turn, but even with Radzard, we still kind of win, though. Yeah, because we're taking free prizes this Right, well, there's the burning darkness. And me, I'm feeling mighty fine, I am. Do you know what I think makes more sense in this deck now that I think about it? It's not Penny, but Tura. Because there's a couple of times I'm playing this deck where I have a Reggie Dargo that's like susceptible to being stuck in the active, you know? That's just kind of a an off the th off the top of the head thought, you know? Uh, let's go for Superior. I don't want to research here, believe it or not. I just want to recover some energy. I will get the fire in case I do need to attack with this one. Like, there's literally no harm in that, right? So let me let me just uh, let me just accelerate here. And <laughs> it's another one. Okay, accelerate again. And then next turn, we just attack with the teal, right? Yeah, that's that's fine. That's I don't want to get rid of all these resources right now. We could be screwed if we get iono here, but I'm willing to whisk it for a biscuit. So, let's go for it. Apex Dragon, Phantom Dive, and we will KO the Charmander because of obvious reasons. There you go. And we put two on the Charizard. Bring it down to 290. And that is free price cards for me, baby. And they scoop. <laughs> Every nigga's just scooping on me, man. It's ridiculous. All right, let's see what we have in this match. It's what? Oh, water challenge, right? Yeah, maybe Makes sense. Well, here we are. Let's show them who's the boss, man. They're just trying to fulfill the water challenge. I'm not letting them do that. I'm going to be a, an absolute menace. I'm going to be a villain today. And let's just shut this water deck down before it even gets its legs. Oh, look at that. We already get an energy switch. Lovely. Uh, I'm tempted to get another Drago down, but I think we just... Well, like, energy switch is like 
guaranteed, right? We know we do that. And we're not getting knocked out next turn. So I think we're kind of just chilling. And there is an Arida. And they get back to Calibre. I'll tell you what's the most interesting inclusion for me is the Penny. I wonder why Penny specifically. I'm assuming, again, to stop being trapped, right? As I said, the reason I don't think they play... Uh, I don't know if I have said this or not, because I don't know if I've cut the, video, the game or not, but... Uh, Radiant Charizard not being played in this is like my biggest criticism and I, I'm assuming they play they don't play it because they don't want to be entrapped in the late game because otherwise why wouldn't you play it but I'm curious as to what this penny is for if anyone can let me know I'll be, that'll be so cool because I want to get the most use case out of it and understand it you know I'm assuming again it is to kind of stop trapping or to remove a liability like if you've got like the one teal in play then it really makes sense to just pick it up yeah either way I think I'm going to oh Nest Ball get another Drago down then I'm going to Ultra Ball and get a yeah, I'll get a Draco here. I was tempted to get, like, a Pokemon to discard and attack with. But it's pointless if you don't have the Draco down. I know I say Reggie Drago and Reggie Drago, and I, I kind of alternate between that. But that, I'm, that, I'm just doing me, bro. Don't take too much notice of it. So... Um, I could Noivern my way through this, because I'm assuming Walking Wake's their main attacker. But I think it's obvious that I go for, uh, Raging Bolt in the discard pile there. Let's get two Grass. Uh, uh, I can't evolve the Reggie Dragon this turn. Nah, that's fine, is what it is. We'll go for Teal Dance, and it's just another energy, of course. Attach, and I will Legacy Star, because I don't want a Raging Bolt here. And I don't think we got anything, actually, to attack. <laughs> if anything, I just got rid of my own Reggies, bro. I think that has to be the move, I'm afraid. I have to just get Reggies back for the sake of consistency. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that's, that's got to happen. All right, well, in that case, at least we have our Reggies next turn. I'm going to have to Legacy Star here and Bellowing Thunder. It will take the knockout, but I lose, like, everything I've worked towards. You know what I'm saying? I lose all my energy. Um, hmm. Do you know what? Let's go for it. Let's take a knockout. I'm sure we'll be able to fix it up after that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Never punish. Never punished. We get all the E-switches. We're absolutely fine, that isn't it? As long as we get E-switches and superior, because all our energy is gone, basically, at this rate. <laughs> um, yeah, sure thing. And they get back to Calibre out. Are they going to hit me with the walking weight, bro? You need the bonnet down, that's for sure, if you're going to do anything serious. What's interesting, though, is the Azure Seas does actually go through uh, Gudra, right? Damage from attacks used by this Pokemon isn't affected by any effects. Yeah, so Gudra isn't going to work on the walking weight, which is a fun fact. Oh, they're going for Blanc. Yeah, this is, this is full water challenge deck. I think they miss, uh, they, they miss Melanie. Remember Melanie? Yeah, me too. Good times, man. Good times. It's Chen Pao. Hello. And they go for a switch. Oh, they might swing with a Chen Pao. That does put a wee bit of pressure on me. Yeah, they shivery chill there. And they manually attach. Interesting. And they super cold. Do you have to? Here's a fun fact, right? Do you have to announce super cold when playing Chen Pao? Like, I'm sure you have to do it, obviously, when uh, you're char like charging up a nine hands, right? You have to announce attach for turn for the, for the water, right? But in theory, it's, do, do you have to announce super cold every time, even when you don't, like, you have all water in your hand? That's a genuine question of, like, rulings, not, um, not like, just in general. Like, is there actually a ruling based on that, you know? I don't know. Um, right, I think I, I it, as much as I hate this, I think I have to research. Yeah, I need, I need a lot more off of this juice, man. Um, okay, there's the other teal that we needed, but I don't think we got any energy energy left. <laughs> uh, let's find out, shall we? And oh, we do. Okay. I was just, I was just being a fraud. Okay. That's fine. But I still might not have it. I might have to uh, go for a cheeky pass on them, which is not great news. Yeah. That, that's, that's a pass turn. Uh, maybe I prime up the backs for now. Yeah. I'm going to prime up backs like that. Maybe I should have attached to a fresh Reggie Jargo, but I didn't know. And we'll energy switch onto the Reggie again. This is all of a sudden gotten hyper awkward, right? But we're just going to, we're just going to pass. Uh, maybe I should have moved energy off the, the top one because I had the switch. Yeah. Well, they're going for another Blanc. Do they get heads? Nope. Yeah, I was pretty confident that they're dead drawing to a point where I can do this play. Except they get a retrieval. <laughs> <laughs> right, they still need some more energy in order to get a KO. I'm sure we're fine. I'm sure we're chilling, bro. Well, they do super cold nonetheless, and they retreat into the Chen Pao. Shivery chill. They're going to be hitting 180 max here, which is absolutely fine by me, because they're still not taking a knockout, thankfully, but it's... <laughs> my confidence level is very, very low. But with a good time, we can do something still. We can attack now. That's great. And I might have to attack with this Reggie as, as it is right now. Maybe Rolling Iron is worth it. I don't know. Um, I will definitely attach and then just switch. Yeah, and then I think we just straight research again and see what we get. Um, okay, that's much more like it. Much more like it, except I'm about to deck out. So I've got to be careful. But how am I like attaching everything, you know? I'm going to deck out, boys. That's a little scary. Right, but I guess I'll only do it when I have to. Uh, how am I resolving the deck out problem? I actually don't know. Well, I'm just going to go for an Apex Dragon. I can, maybe I knock out the POW. Maybe I do KO the POW and then I have to go for a boss, but then that's like super risky. If I knock out the POW, I have to discard all the energy, which means I need to like do 2-2 two, two, 
Switch, switch. I only have one switch left, so I can't knock out the pal. So I have to copy something else. What if I copy uh, Covert Flight? Yes, come on, boys. Okay, Covert Flight. I realized, I realized. That puts him to 150, which means I can then phantom dive afterwards. Yep, that's that's the plan. That's the plan, baby. A reader? Bro, Dragon, the, the Reggie Drago has everything. It's so good. I get a Palkia and a switch. Thankfully, no counter catch, which would have been their way around it. But uh, they, this, this isn't that build, thankfully. But we don't discriminate. All right, we're chilling. Interesting to see them switch into this Chen Pao. I'm assuming they don't know what Covert Flight does. Again, this, this deck is giving off new player vibes. We might see a new player move here. Let's not judge. Okay, I think we're seeing it. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think it's happening. Whoa, Nelly. Yep, they're, they're loading up. Okie dokie. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be painful. This is going to be super painful. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Oh god. I think I'm gonna wait. Why specifically two? Oh, that would have done it, right? Yeah, that's 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 a, that's that's gonna burn. That's gonna sting, mate. That's gonna seriously sting. I guess I'm just gonna go for another covert flight, I think. And then how am I like seeing this game through? I think I have to covert flight. Yeah, I have to covert flight. Let's just do it again. I'm just thinking I'm running out of time. Like, should I just bellowing thunder here? But then like like if they bring up backs, I'm screwed. No, I'm just gonna go for a covert flight. I'm I'm gonna go for a covert flight. I did the bait going for the bellowing thunder, but I'd rather go for the phantom die take a knockout that way and then try and get two prizes in another route but yeah this is looking super slim i think there's one more boss in the list oh there's two there's two more bosses left in the list oh we're fine boss is in there it's chilling i basically need to ko the chen pao and then boss something for game but we are also at risk of getting trapped oh that's a serious risk isn't it hmm they're gonna retreat chen pao into bats yep that was what we anticipated are they gonna attack me with the back okay that's kind of cool i kind of dig that man well done they're adapting they're adapting although they've only got the two energy i think they're bossing oh no oh please don't uh, okay, okay. They bossed up the teal mask. That's the good... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thankfully, this is a new player. I would have been screwed if it wasn't, okay? Thank you, new player, for making me look better. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, don't nothing to see here. Don't worry about it. Bit frustrating. Bit frustrating they're forcing me to go for a one prize KO here, but we're taking it, okay? Now I'm going to go for a, a KO. I'm going to go for a rolling iron. No, I'm going to be phantom dive and then just try and... Oh God, we're literally so close to KOing that. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who I am or what I'm doing, but we're here. We're vibing. Let's just, let's just slowly tear down a Chen Pao. Thank God they bossed up that Pokemon. <laughs> but if they bossed up Reggie, I would have been screwed. They brought this bad boy up. I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't have enough turns to win the game. So this deck does have the burnout potential behind it. That's, that's curious. But I get rid of another boss and a rare candy, realizing they need to start attacking here. Luminion comes down, even though they've just played a supporter. Yeah, I feel bad for putting this in the video, but uh, do you know what? It is what it is. Oh, they prime. Have they seen it now? No, they keep bringing up the damaged Ogapon. I don't know why they're doing that. Well, they're going to shivery chill. And I think I just have enough left to see myself through here. Oh, people are going to think this is an actor. It's not, I swear. It happens too often now. But it's just the ladder, man. The ladder's so unpredictable. Oh, gosh. All right, let's just uh, let's, let's KO the pal and then just ping this. I, I Yeah, I KO the pal. Let's not be technical here, Sean. Let's just do your job, okay? Can I actually dominating Echo for a KO? Oh, maybe I should have bossed this for it. No, that wouldn't have done it. I'm offlin, I'm offlin, I'm offlin. Let's just go for a phantom dive. Just phantom dive, ping the pal, and Bob's your uncle. Here's to hoping they don't have any more gusting left and realize what they should be gusting is my own Reggie Drago on the bench with literally nothing on it. I literally lose next turn, by the way, if they boss that thing up, but I feel they do not see that as they get Greninja and Candy. Oh, imagine if they go for a Greninja. That'd be kind of cool. Evolve to Palkia Retreat Greninja. That'd be kind of sweet. It won't finish the job, unfortunately, but um, oh, my 10 damage as well. But yeah, it's too little too late. There's Lake Acuity. Does that throw anything off? Not really. Yeah, and they just pass. Fair play to them. Do you know what? They were a good sport. We can't even hate, okay? Like, let's be real. A lot of us would have just quit instantly, right? After, like, uh, maybe a few turns ago. But they, they held through to the end, man. You have to appreciate it. You really do. Uh, thank you for letting me showcasing the deck. <laughs> and if you're a new player like that, just keep going, man. Keep playing. Just enjoy yourself. Who cares if the deck is good or not, man? Hey, listen, man. I know the decks in today's video were suboptimal lists that we were playing against. But don't let that take away from the power of this race. Reggie Drago list. I'm absolutely in love with it. It has to be my favorite deck right now. And yeah, as I said, a couple of suggestions I would maybe change as just a generic player, not someone who's been to a tournament with it. Would really want to know what that penny is about and why it's not a Turo. But um, other than that, maybe of course the Charizard. But again, there's clear, there's clear reason why it's not included there. So take my suggestions with a pinch of salt, obviously. But with that said, we're going to leave it there. Take care and I'll see you in the next one when we have some wacky decks, bro. We have some wacky boys coming. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.